craft brews, casual conversations. So, so fucking bored. I haven't seen my many of my friends. I haven't seen any of my family members. I haven't seen a lot of people, and I'm kind of worried about them. So, I bring you the first edition of the Dudes with Brews Quarantine Call Line. We're going to be calling a few folks here, seeing how they're doing. They don't know I'm calling them, but uh, let's see what we can get through. Hello. Alex, how's it going? Hey, you're fine, man. How are you doing? I'm, I'm doing great. Uh, how's, how's the quarantine life? Cool. All right. It's going all right. Uh, just so you know, you are on the, the quarantine call line uh, brought to you by the fine oh. folks at Dudes with Brews on a Porch. Alex, Currently. You, you're right now, you're you're being recorded, um, so I didn't oh, want... Oh, this is excellent. It's for quality uh, quality assurance, you know, when we review things later, uh, make sure I handle oh, everything correctly. Um, Alex, you've been brought up a, a few times on the program before. Um Okay. We we announced your your GoFundMe uh, well over a year ago um, for your your yeah. situation. Would you like to f- inform the fine folks? So you had a you had a brain cancer. Uh, can you give uh, a Can you give us an update on your current status? Absolutely. Well, first off, I just want to thank uh, thank you, Drew, and all the uh, the followers that um, you know showed their their love and appreciation. You know, for to a guy that they've never even met. You know, a lot of guys showed a lot of love, and I, I really appreciate that. Uh, mm-hmm. But currently, I am, uh, I, I'm, I, I don't have a brain tumor anymore. Uh, I don't have brain cancer. It's dead tissue. The treatment worked after I was told it wasn't going to work by one doctor. Went to another one, got a second opinion, and it was the <laughs> best news ever, knowing that it was going to be, it was going to be, uh, we were going to beat it, and we did, and everything you know, has been going great. I can't complain. It really uh, makes me look at life a little differently. And, Knowing that everything could change, you yeah, know, for sure, man. At any moment, yeah, that's but, awesome. Uh, but now your face was so. I mean, you, you've you defeated one of the biggest obstacles of your life, um, and now we're yeah. we're in this quarantine situation. What do, what are you doing? Are you are you still working? You do work at an essential place, but you're you're not working right I, now. I do, I do, but I'm not I'm not currently working. I'm able to stay home to stay safe uh, due to my situation. I. I guess i'd still run a a higher risk not not i guess it it, you know it's it's possible and so i'm taking the standard uh precaution just Mm -hmm. playing it safe and fortunately my wife gets to stay home too and and work from home and which is great because uh without her who knows if i would have even made it through the whole cancer challenge and yeah but uh awesome yeah so fortunately i do get to stay home and i get to stay safe also with my with my wife too which is wonderful so she's working right now She's, yeah, she's, she's upstairs work. in the, my drum room that we converted into a drum room slash office. Oh, drum room slash office. Is my is my guitar still over there? Uh, yeah, the guitar is still there. Same spot. Same spot. And you, you tried to convince me one time that it was uh, stolen. I, I did play and I didn't believe a joke you. on you, and you didn't believe me, so I took over the guitar. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like oh, I feel man. like if my guitar really got stolen, you would. Uh, um, be upset and it'd be a phone call not a text say that again i said i feel like if if my guitar did get stolen it would be a phone call not a text yeah you're right <laughs> a little more than a text. yeah so uh yeah we'll, well have, to, have to get over there at some point and uh, play some music when this is all said and done oh for sure absolutely absolutely what um are you sipping on a brew here right now no, uh, Alex, I'll, I'll tell you what I am drinking, though. I do have a drink next to me. It is uh, a meal okay. replacement shake, and I threw a little bit of uh, PB2 in there to give it an extra peanut butter kick. Oh, nice. Mm-hmm. Peanut butter is great. I like to add that to my uh, smoothie, my protein shakes that I have that I mix up with a, with a blender. Yeah, I like that. Uh, like it the- doesn't, doesn't pay me to say that. I'm just, you know, a loyal customer. For who? <laughs> ninja. Oh, I have a ninja. They're they're great. Oh yeah, man, it's sweet. Yeah, they're the shit, man. I love them. Uh, they uh, they For do sure. do they they blend really well and very fast too. I might add. Mm-hmm. I used I used very to have like uh um like some 
generic version of a, of a ninja, and it was a pile of shit. Okay. It left the, oh, it left see. chunks of my of my spinach, uh, unliquefied. Oh, and I, I, I damn it, I didn't like it. No, no. Um, what are you What you gotta, are you doing? You got to put your foot down. I, I had to, and what? I I got the, and then I got this ninja. What are you doing in in your downtime? Then what are you doing for fun? Are you yeah? You kind of are you going out at all? Supporting any local businesses in their like their carry out uh, options, or are you just kind of sitting at home? Well, actually, it was the other day we did go to Gillies, and it All was right. a delicious treat. Gillies is good, and I was impressed. I was impressed with their staff and how um, how happy they were to to serve the customer, even in this um, unfortunate uh, situation we're in. But they still provide their high quality, tasty food. Mm-hmm. You know, you can't go wrong when you go to Gillies. And then, um, actually, it's kind of been uh, kind of like a new bonding experience with my wife when we're cooking a little more in the kitchen together. And yeah, for sure. You know, that, that quality time, it's good stuff. You know, like this morning I woke up, I whipped up some, some eggs for breakfast, and, uh, cool. you know, Christina's a hard worker, so she, she deserves is. a nice treat, and, you know, I got to eat too, so. <laughs> yeah, I uh, um, I take the approach where I just continue to have Carissa cook, but uh, she she cooks more often because of this uh, quarantine oh. situation. So, uh, yep, I, yeah. I allow her to cook me more food. Oh, that's nice. I'm a bad partner that's and don't nice and don't reciprocate do the favor from time to time. What'd you say? I said that's nice that you let her do that. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm a, I'm a good guy, but I did oh, I did clean today. I cleaned the kitchen pretty well in the living room. That's good. Um, I've I, done some of that around the house. I'm out of fucking Clorox wipes, so I gotta uh-huh. figure that out because I I gotta clean the bathroom. I hate cleaning the bathroom. That's the trade off. She cooks yeah. she cooks the food, and I'm mm-hmm. the only person. In my household and family that <laughs> cleans the fucking bathroom. We both clean. My wife works so hard, but we both clean. I can't let her take yeah, care of all that. Carissa cleans with me at times, but like when it comes to the bathroom, yeah. it's strictly me. Strictly me. <laughs> I uh, I don't really mind cleaning the bathroom. We keep up on it, so it's never hate it. you know, too difficult. Yeah, I mean, it's not... I'd rather be playing the drums or video games. Right. Or something, but my uh, my my I'm six year old son of... insists to piss all over the place. You know, God forbid he just shoots oh, down. Geez. This is you got to aim. He knows what he's doing. He just I don't know the urine man. It just he somehow oh. manages to find itself in places and shouldn't be. <laughs> so. That's funny, but uh, I, I'm glad you're. I'm d- glad you're doing well. I'm glad you're managing. Thank in, you. in these times, um, I'm, I, f- other phone calls have to be made. This is a, a very hot hotline. Um, please okay. stick around. You might receive a second phone call for uh, a survey sure. on my service to you and checking up. But um, when this is all said and done, Al, you, you got to come on the program face to face. Over a beer, yeah. Uh, I've noticed you've been drinking yeah, I, some disgusting Miller Light. Um, so we're gonna get you on, you know, a I mean, real. I mean, I, I like High Life. Well, well, okay, High Life. Regardless, it's still I'm gross. A, I'm a um, so we're still, no, it's not. we're still gonna get you on a real beer regimen now. Um, we're not gonna, oh, you know, okay. no more of this watered down bullshit. It's gonna be, <laughs> it's gonna be hop, hop filled. It's gonna have some taste to it, some juiciness. Um, yeah, okay. none of this. You know, leave, leave the High Life for the showers, like you, like you have been. Okay. Those shower beers, sure. I'm, I'm fine with that because we don't want to get because okay. you know the water that gets in it really just makes it taste the same uh whereas if you have a real beer <laughs> if you have a real beer and water gets in it it's gonna it's gonna really dilute it Jeez. you don't want that that reminds me no that reminds me of uh the first back to the future movie where this brings home the uh the pickup truck that he that he smashed and said i get the truck to it all the way to your house oh yeah it's light beer <laughs> Obviously, you didn't uh, go to True Glazer's house. Yeah, that's right. So, um, but uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, we'll talk soon, yeah. man. Take care. Sounds good. Sounds good. I look forward to that. Thanks for the call. Yeah, no problem. Bye. All right. Have a good one. You too. All right, that was Alex. Let's see uh, if I can get some other good people on the line here on the quarantine call line. Your call is very important to us. We. You know, we really got to make sure everyone's doing the best that they possibly can. And I think I have a good person to uh, to give a holla to. Let's see if we can get through. Hello? 
Hello? What's up, Josh? You got a minute? Sure, what's up? Hey, you're on the quarantine call line uh, brought to you by the fine folks at Dudes with Brews on a Porch. I'm worried about my <laughs> friends, and I'm, I'm calling to check up on them. So um, you're, you're in quarantine. You're a teacher, a very important role at this time. What, what's going on? How you been? Oh, pretty good, actually. Um, just doing a lot of, we're doing online learning with the kids, so mm-hmm. it, it was set up like within a week. And it's actually going pretty well. I actually think some of the kids who struggle more at school are doing a little bit better, like behavior wise, which is kinda of weird, but um <laughs> it's been <laughs> it's been interesting That's so far. Um just, you know, going through this new process and everything. But it's it's kinda of nice that we could maybe take some stuff from it for the future to you know, make learning better actually. <laughs> yeah. Through Google Classroom? Google Classroom, and we're also using Google Meet. Okay. Which is, so I'm on a video call with all my students okay. throughout the day. That's crazy. Yeah, so they can just like, because they can mute themselves, and then they can pop in and out. Sure. And just ask questions if they have them. So basically, I assign stuff through Google Classroom and say, do this, and if you have questions, I'm here. And it, it works pretty nice. So you, what, what grade are you doing? Seventh, eighth? Eighth grade, yeah. Eighth grade. So Ashton's gotten the same kind of thing with uh, the Google Classroom, and okay. we just check it every day. You know, new lessons, new assignments get uploaded with the you know YouTube videos of the teacher teaching uh, the lesson. Yeah. And I gotta say, uh, I could never be a kindergarten teacher because it's like this stuff is so so easy that we're trying that <laughs> I'm trying to get my six year old to grasp. And I'm like, come on, man, right. like, this, this isn't hard. Um, but obviously <laughs> for him, it's brand new and I don't have the patience for it. So I give you a lot of credit for, I, it might be different with, uh, you know, older kids. I, I, I want to be that teacher, but more like middle school, high school level, but man, yeah, it's weird. Have you, have you done anything? Are you going outside at all? Walks? Any- um, go, go out on, on walks, try to get, you know, Mason out every now and then to, to play. Cause he kind of goes to the crazy and house. Oh right? yeah. <laughs> Yeah, man. That's, all, that's about it. And all, all of our, uh, the, all my plans have been canceled for the last month. I was supposed to have a pretty packed March and April. We were supposed to see Alkaline Trio and Bad Religion. Um, mm-hmm. That's getting rescheduled. I was supposed to go to a couple comedy shows, a Bucks game, um, and then I'm supposed to. I was supposed to run a half marathon next month. That's now fucking rescheduled for June. It's frustrating. Oh, really? Oh, that. That probably messes a little bit with your your training schedule that you were on. A little bit, but it gives me a little more time to keep working at. I've already, I've done one ten mile run so far, so that's. I mean, I think I'll be all right. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yep. Yep. Record yep. store day got rescheduled, and oh, that's right. Yeah, record store day now rescheduled. When is when is that? Mm-hmm. I forget. June June twentieth, I think now. Yeah, then my like half that. my half marathon is June twenty first. <laughs> oh, geez. damn it so well i mean uh, i guess i can it'll be in june 21st is father's day so it'll be true yeah. a, a packed weekend and i'll i have <laughs> for sure start my father's day with running 13 miles i guess are you were you were doing like track and cross country weren't you coaching it are you still doing that what's the how's that no going? i haven't done that for for a while now okay um but yeah, that's all that stuff is canceled now. So you know, anyone who's banking on that extra income is not going to. Yeah, but I mean, at now. least at least uh, you know, you and 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 I are kind of in a position because my my work is considered essential. So I've still been working. I've been working four tens Monday through Thursday, um, and then Jeez. I have Friday, Saturday, Sunday off. But um, at least we're still getting an income and we don't have to do the unemployment thing right now, which is good. Mm-hmm. You know, a lot of people yeah, I'm com- for that. Yeah. A lot of people are complaining about it. I'm like, man, I don't, I don't know what I would do with all, especially with all the cases of unemployment that are happening right now would be screwed. Absolutely. Screwed. I know, that'd be right. I know it, it's crazy. I wouldn't like it. Well, I'm glad you're doing well. Um, give my best to uh, the misses and to uh, your your, do. your offspring. Um, <laughs> we'll have to. It's been it's been a minute since I've seen you in person. Since I've rubbed know, your face, um, <laughs> and, you know, <laughs> and whispered sweet nothings into your ear. But um, 
so yeah once this all blows over man uh you, we, you know come over or we can do something we gotta have some fun from time to time and live a little you know for sure it's been definitely too long since we've done anything and with so all this once, once everything passes and hopefully right. we can get together with all this downtime you have uh you could plan my bachelor party i'm just kidding <laughs> This is true. I don't know what I, I'm. I'm down for whatever, whatever you want to do. All right. Play some bingo <laughs> or something. Go to Potawatomi Casino and uh, play bingo with the biddies. <laughs> I have to get creative. Okay. <laughs> All right, man. I'll talk to you soon. All right. Sounds good, man. Bye. Bye. That was the old co-host and my still one of my best friends. His name is Josh. I love Josh very much. Very much, I should say, and I. I miss the man, damn it. I miss the man. Uh, let's see, who else can we give a shout out on this lovely day that we have going on in the world of quarantines? Answers the fucking phone or what? Oh, you've reached the phone. I guess not. Jesus Christ. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, he's calling back. Hello? Yo, what up, dude? What's up, man? You got a minute? Yeah, I was just changing the LG back. What's up? Oh, I just, uh, uh, you're, I, I should let you know that you are on the quarantine call line brought to you by the fine folks at Dudes with Brews. This is going to be recorded for quality assurance. Are you okay with that? I am okay with that as long as you guys are okay with the potential baby crying. Yeah, that's fine. I'm, I'm, I'm calling and checking on my friends that I haven't seen during this time of quarantine. And I know you have a young child uh, who recently soiled herself and you, uh, you quickly, promptly, took care of that situation um other than that how's how is things going in, in this world of uh of staying indoors i'd just like to report first of all that it was quite a day for <laughs> yeah uh, you know and melody's very healthy she's got rolls all over her legs i mean i was digging around trying to clean everything <laughs> up and i think it was successful yeah, that'll happen, man. So you, you've experienced the the ultimate uh, blowouts, then. I mean, yeah, there was a meltdown. Yeah. Am I? But, uh, yeah. Go ahead. Are you? Uh, do you have me on speaker right now? Yeah, is that bad? Yeah. Bring it to your bring it to yeah. your face, my love. All right, all right. Uh, oh, that's better. So I, I saw him uh, having a child is really good social distancing technique. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, people, well, do people just try to avoid you because they don't want to get your kids sick? <laughs> oh, no, I got a cute ass kid. You do have a cute kid. Uh, did you notice that even when the virus wasn't around that people were still uh, being socially distant? Are you talking about video gamers? No, I'm just saying, like, in general, like, I know when I had Madison, granted, it was uh, 11 years before majority of my friends, um, some people kind of tapered off. They don't want to be your friend anymore. Have you noticed that? I think uh, you just probably had less time for other activities, but you chose yeah. your friends that are important to you. Keep them around. Yeah, yeah. That's true. But uh, um, so while in this whole mix uh, of things, you you bought a house. Yeah, dude, I, I work at like the most dangerous spot in the hot stuff every night. Now you work at Quick Trip. Yeah, it's the only place open uh, all night on the north side. 
So do we get, well, uh, so they, they dumped out all their coffee. They, they got rid of the coffee, but now they have somebody serving it. Is that, is that correct? At times. At times. Not all the time. But, you know, if we have enough people, we'll, we'll get you some coffee. Yeah, for sure. I, uh, I, you know, I do miss me a, a cup of Karuba. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I was, uh, I haven't had one since this whole thing happened, but, uh, quick trips doing a pretty cool thing during this time because obviously they are an essential, a part of Wisconsin because they're everywhere and I love the place. Um, they're doing that thing where you get whoever works there is now getting an additional $2 an hour during this time. Right. Yeah. That's pretty, I'm that's pretty great. About that at all. Yeah. You know, that's awesome, man. And, and you're like, uh, I was on the phone earlier with, another friend of ours josh saying you know a lot of people are doing the unemployment thing thankfully we don't have to do that we have to be a little more careful um with what we do but are you washing your hands a lot disinfecting all the time dude my hands are, my hands are raw raw from yeah man i've i've invested in some hand lotion which i never do i i don't like hand lotion but you've had a lot of hand lotion alcohol. in your life don't lie well, I don't buy it. I just, you know, steal from whatever girls around me. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Well, that's good. How's uh, how's how's your baby doing? Getting bigger? Dude, she's getting huge. Yeah, hey, I've I've met her. I've met her twice now, and I haven't held her yet. And she's, I think she's at the stage now where like, I don't really like holding other people's newborns, but now she's like at a, at a point where I'm, I'd be comfortable with it. So when this is all said and done, I, I will wash my hands, disinfect and, and I'd hold your baby if I could. She's not going to break. No. Does she like other people? Does she like beards? Yeah. She likes everything. How, uh, how old now? We're looking at uh, three months. Yeah, a little over. Okay. Almost three and a half. No, I think three and a half on Monday. Crazy, man. Goes by fast. Um, and then so, how, yeah. how are you adjusting to that with uh, working the third shift lifestyle? How's that How's that rolling? I mean, it's good. Yeah? It's, it's a little difficult. Like, I finish in the morning. I can hang out for a couple hours and I sleep. And then uh, son's still working, wife's still working, so uh, I have Melody from 2 till 9. Mm-hmm. And then you're working all night. And then I go to work at 10. Jeez. Yeah, it's, uh, now you know what it's like. Like, I remember when we, when I was working third shift at one point in time, we would, we went to go do something with, uh, with Zach, and uh, a little beforehand, I was, I was taking a snooze on your chair. Cause I was so tired because I had been up all night. Mm-hmm. Now you understand oh, the yeah, importance sure. of like, catching I, those sleeps. I fall asleep in like weird places. Try to get like 20 minutes here and there. Yeah. yeah I, I completely understand. Do you have to work tonight? No, I'm off tonight and off tomorrow. Cool. When, uh, when's the uh, big moving day? How's that going? Well, everything's going along well. We're just waiting. Um, they need to do a couple fixes real quick. Oh sure. So do you have? And I really, do you have? Uh, it's right by the lake. Are you technically like? Do you have access to your lake? Is it is it on your property? No. No. Okay. But it's right there. But, well, I gotta make I gotta make friends with some really rich neighbors down the road. You can do well, that down like down like the driveway, basically. All right. And yeah. then, Pretty much what you have to do yeah, is just yeah. like plan, strategically plan, find out their their routine when they take out their garbage and then you take your garbage out at the same time and then you're like, hey, uh, I happen to have a six pack in my hand too. Uh, would you like to share a cold beverage while we get acquainted with one another? Or just like, oh, what a coincidence. I always carry around beer that I make. Here's one of my beers. There you go. That's a good idea. And I'm, I also have an extra one that I'm going to drink, but mine's actually just a PBR, <laughs> and then, you know, we'll become friends. PBR is disgusting, man. You need to, you, as someone who drinks a lot of craft brews, uh, you really 
should stop doing that PBR shit. It's gross. It's not good. It's really good. They don't just give blue ribbons to any, you know. Tom sure they do. Mary. I can I can go buy a blue ribbon right now, for nothing. Just just buy yeah, one. You could, you, dude. Before nineteen hundred, you couldn't. You just couldn't. <laughs> You couldn't find a, a a piece of blue fabric and say, "This is my uh, my blue ribbon that I won." No, the the only blue rib like that kind of blue ribbon had not been invented yet. Okay, the, but the problem with PBR, Matt, is you know they said they won this blue ribbon back in the eighteen hundreds. They haven't upgraded or changed the the taste or recipe since, and it's still disgusting. Oh, yeah, they have. They, they built some formaldehyde out. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, and it's easy. It's easy to win things in the 1800s when you're like the only one doing it, right? Oh no, no, there are lots. There are lots of brewers back then. What What was it called before it gained blue ribbon uh, uh, status? Just Paps. Yeah, yeah, just Paps. And then it got. So if it would have taken second place, would it be Paps Red Ribbon or just Paps Second really, Place Beer? It really depends on the competition. You know, some competitions have different colored ribbons. I I wasn't at this particular ribbon ceremony. Okay. So I, I can't tell you for sure. But, I mean, red sounds like a, a probable color, I would say. Red usually is second place, you know? I don't know. I've never gotten second place. No, I have. I haven't gotten first either, so I mean... I'm, yeah, I'm looking ba- more on like the consolation, like the white ones. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the participation <laughs> ones. Like, congratulations, you participated. Yeah, I got. Um, I mean, I got my fair share of, of blue ribbons back when I was showing goats um, back in the day. So, and I got some second place, some third places, fourth places, some grand champions. Grand champion ones are purple, Matt. Purple. I feel like I, I would like a purple ribbon. Yeah, I like I like purple. Cool. If it was called Paps Purple Ribbon PPR, maybe I would consider oh, yeah. trying it again. But it's not a grand champion, Matt, and it's no first place in my taste buds. Dude, and what if PPR was like beer thirty and it tasted like great? Oh man, there you go. I think we're onto I, something. I gotta call, I, I, we got to call the Paps Brewery. Yeah, we can do that. I tried, uh, I think I, uh, I know that was Sprecher that they used to have like a billboard. It's like one four one four something something beer was their phone number, but that, that phone number doesn't work anymore. I tried calling it. Lame. False it, advertising. Yeah, super lame. It used to be their phone number, not anymore, but um, yeah. I, and I know I listen to a lot of like punk music and a lot of quote unquote punks listen or drink PBR you know, and it's I'm supposed to be in with the scene, but it's fucking gross, and I uh, refuse to drink it unless that's all there is. Then I maybe will have one, and then it's like licking a skunk's butt. I mean, I like black coffee. Me too. I like bitter stuff, and I just I've been all around the world. The PBR tastes the same in China, dude, as it does oh. here. Yeah. Well, yeah, uh, like. It's consistent. Yeah, consistently gross. I mean, gross is gross, Matt. When the quality yeah, least, can't get any lower, it's it, it's easy to replicate. <laughs> that's, I mean, that's my opinion, though. I love my PBR. No, that's fine. You like? Do you like? You like I mean, Miller High Life too? Let's, let's, I mean, I drink it because. That's what's always in my dad's fridge. Yeah, I remember Mark. Mark is a champagne of beer guy. Uh, so is so is our friend Alex, who I also ridiculed for drinking um, for drinking Miller because it's also disgusting. You know what I found interesting? What's that? Eighteen packs of Miller High Life mm-hmm. are like twelve bucks. Oh yeah, eighteen packs. Eighteen packs of Miller Highlight Light are like nine bucks. Huh. Interesting. So, so it really is the champagne the of beer. The real shit. Not the well, not the light stuff. The watered down champagne. <laughs> like yesterday's champagne. Yeah. The half that price. 
half price yeah. champagne expired, but you can still drink it. Yeah. All right. Well, um, I'm going to let you go, man. Uh, it was good talking to you. Um, hopefully in a couple of weeks, this is, uh, all blown over. Um, and then we're, we're free to, to mingle and, and coexist once again. And then I can, uh, I can see you and we can, um, exchange pleasantries and you'll let me hold your baby. I'll think about letting you hold my baby. Well, if you're I holding mean, a PBR, I'm not going to accept your baby then either. What if it's a silo? What if it's what? What if it's a silo? A silo? PBR silo can. A big one. Almost as big as Melody. You'll have to either take the PBR or Melody. So you're probably holding the, the baby. I'll hold the baby. And hopefully she likes me and hopefully we can become friends. Oh, yeah, dude. You'll be best friends. Yeah, I think but yeah, so. Yeah, we're moving in hopefully end of April. So uh, End of April. All right. I can help you with that. You know, help or come uh, celebrate the new house. Did you help me move? Yeah, you, you helped me move. I guess I'll, I'll return the favor for you. You're you're one of my lifelong friends and good friends, so when I say I'll help you move, I'll, I, I really mean it. Whereas I say it to other people and I don't mean it. <laughs> I appreciate that. So yeah, just let me know when, and I'll I'll come and I'll uh, you know at least uh, help you do something. I'll I'll help load some shit up, unload some shit, get you settled into the new house, and uh, get things rolling. Then you're, you're gonna be yeah, a homeowner, and I'll bring beer, and then put it in your fridge <laughs> as a gift. Awesome. Well, stay healthy. That's stay right. Quarantine. I'll do my best. And eat your fruits and vegetables. Very important. Matt, I've lost, uh, uh, before you go, I've lost uh, 18 pounds this year. Well done. Yeah, I was two, around 224, 225 at the beginning of the year, I think. And then uh, 206 today. Pretty good. Pretty fucking good, it's bro. All that running. Yeah, it is that running. It's a very important thing. I got to keep going. Good training, man. Yeah, thank you. So, uh, um, you know, I need you to be, because you're, you've are you been a, this lifelong friend of mine, you have to let me know when I start gaining weight, man, because, you know, when I reached, when I was at 267, people weren't really telling me how big I was getting, and then uh, it wasn't until I lost the weight that they're, they're like, yeah, man, you were, you were pretty fucking big, and it's like, well, you got to tell me, and then I started creeping up a little bit. No one informed me. No one informed me. Dude, it creeps up on you quick. Yeah, dude, it does. Yeah. You have one cheeseburger, turns into uh, like a week of cheeseburgers, and then maybe a slice of pizza here and there, turns into a whole pizza. And after a while, you're sipping down Monster Energy drinks, shoving down a spicy chicken sandwich, and uh, you know it feels great, tastes great, but then afterwards, uh, the, the, the numbers go up on the scale. And not in a good way. For sure. I get those protein shakes. Yeah. Me too. I drink those. They're lame. Eggs. Eggs are good. Raw. Chicken. Raw eggs. Are, no, don't do that. You'll get sick. Um, but, uh, you know, Sylvester Stallone, he drank raw eggs and um, just look what it did to his brain. So, I'd advise against that. <laughs> Sounds good. I guess I'll cook them. All right, all right, man. Well, good talking to you, and uh, we'll we'll get together soon. Sounds good. Much love, Drew. Stay safe. Yeah, you too. See you, man. Peace. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is your quarantine call line. Uh, we might be doing this throughout the the whole quarantine thing going on, keeping you occupied in your downtime. Uh, feel free to give us the old thumbs up, like our Facebook page, Dudes with Bruce on a Porch, like us on. Or follow us on Twitter at Dudes on a Porch. Hit me up on fucking Instagram, which is also Dudes with Bruce Pod. And you can um, follow me, Runsies, uh, my running Instagram page. Uh, pictures of me and my underwear and my running routes. Um, and then you can also listen to my second podcast that I have with uh, my friend Joe. It's called Losing It with Drew and Joe or Documenting Our Weight Loss Journey, Our Way to Kind of Living a Healthier Lifestyle. 
well, as well as um, maybe losing a pound or two. So um, uh, keep up on all that. Make sure you're staying safe. If you have the opportunity to support a local business, meaning your a local business around you is selling, you know, giving you curbside food or stuff like that a lot of breweries in my area you can call ahead drive up there they'll bring it out to you very little interaction um even even like a pizza delivery service now they put your food all in you know they have the packages but then they put the food in a bag and you have the ability to have the delivery person just leave it at your doorstep no interaction whatsoever support these businesses a lot of even the franchises like mcdonald's burger king those are owned by local people they just own the franchising licenses so they're people of members of your community support them if you can uh, very important to keep things going. Uh, make sure you're buying your favorite band's albums, their records, their merch, um, and, and downloading their stuff and paying for it, giving them a buck or two to support those artists. That uh, The shows that you're supposed to go see, if you're getting uh, the tickets refunded, go buy some of their music. Go buy some of their shirts um, and, and you know check in on your local podcaster. Make sure they're doing all right. Check in on your friends, your family during all this time. It's, it's fucking crazy what's going on, but it's also important to stay separated and stay within safe distances, but also stay in touch and stay up to date with all the people that you care about, all the people that bring you joy, entertainment, um, you know, just just support them if you can of course if you're if you're without a job and you're going through some hard times right now i really hope uh things get better i hope you have a good support system and if you don't shoot me an email dudes on a porch at gmail.com let's chat a little bit let's uh let's see how things go and let's uh hopefully in in two weeks we can start the recovery process we can uh look forward to being able to do things with our friends our family again and um I don't know, man. We can only hope for the best. That's that's really all we can do. And it, treat everybody um, the best that you can possibly treat somebody. Don't be an asshole. Don't be a dick. Don't be rude. Make sure if you are, if you have the ability to do these curbside assistance and stuff like that, tip the people. Give the people a, a couple extra bucks because who knows? Maybe they're the only people bringing income into their house. And uh, the, that extra five bucks on a tip uh, is going to put some food on the table or help pay the electric bill or, or something like that. So that's just my, um, you know, that's just what I have to say. And uh, I look forward to hearing from you. We'll check in on some more of my friends, some family members in a future episode of the Quarantine Call Line. Make sure you keep on listening to us. We love you very much, and uh, we'll we'll see you soon. Rob will be back um, once again for a, a new episode coming up soon, and uh, maybe we'll get some extra bonus shit your way too. So, thanks. <laughs>